Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will also be voting to override the mayor's veto of the revised Criminal Code Act, as I believe this bill reflects decades of important work by the council law enforcement uh, and criminal justice advocates in the district. Special thanks are due to Council Member Allen and his staff for their efforts to get us to this uh, to the brink of such an important set of reforms. Also, I'm grateful for Council Member Pinto for co-introducing this resolution and her leadership on justice issues in this new council period. Uh, the overhaul of the criminal code will make our criminal justice system fairer and our community safer. When this law takes effect in October 2025, the district will finally have a uniform penalty system that will ensure that similar defendants receive similar sentences. The elimination of mandatory minimums and life sentences will help reduce sentencing disparities that fall hardest on black men and uh, sentences will help reduce uh, disparities that fall uh, on their families. Judges will also have increased discretion to defer criminal prosecutions of misdemeanors and impose up to a year of probation, instead a process that can help us avoid unnecessary, costly, and ultimately self-defeating sentences of incarceration. We will expand jury rights in the district to include cases involving any serious crime and important expansion of every resident's right to be judged by a panel of their peers. Make no mistake, I understand that many residents in the district feel less safe than they did a few years ago. There are too many guns on our streets. Too many of those guns are in the hands of children and far too many residents, many of them children, are the victims of violent crime. I look forward to working with council colleagues on solutions to these very serious problems. Uh, what's more, I am angered and saddened every time a resident's sense of security is shattered by a criminal act. Just over a week ago, the Brooklyn community in Ward 5 lost 13-year-old crime Blake. He was a child, a son, a classmate, a, a student. Karan's killer and all others who take or threaten the lives of DC residents must be held accountable. They must be held accountable today, and they must be held accountable when the new criminal code goes into effect. But I reserve my sharpest anger and sadness for the systems that play a significant role in making violence more likely and more deadly. We have an obligation to work together to confront the environmental, economic, and social inequities that help explain why members of some communities in our city are much more likely to become justice involved. We have an obligation to come up with new tools uh, to confront gun manufacturers who profit from flooding communities like mine with weapons they know will be used in murders and carjackings. My pledge to War 5 residents, to partners on the council and in the executive is that I will work with you in good faith to confront the systems responsible for violence in our city. Let's build healthier, safer communities together. Let's do everything we can to interrupt cycles of violence on the front end and stop tragedies from occurring in the first place. Again, many thanks to Council Members Allen and Pinto, um, and I yield back my time. Thanks.